I challenged my boss to a slime competition. Andrea is making me edit all of her TikToks this week, but she didn't even seem busy. She was just making slime mock-ups for the restock. So to get out of editing for her, I challenged her to a slime competition. The rules are simple. I have to recreate one of Andrea's slime mock-ups from scratch. Then, if I can fool the shop staff into thinking my slime mock-up is Andrea's work, she has to give me every slime from the restock for free. But if I lose, then I have to edit all of her TikToks for one whole month. Fine, it's a deal. So if you're unfamiliar with what a slime mock-up is, it's like we gave a restock slime a makeover for a photo shoot. Every week, Andrea would make a slime mock-up for every restock slime and capture photos of them to put on our website. That way, when you go on peachybabies.com every Friday to buy some slime, you can actually see the slimes before you buy them. For today's challenge, I have four mock-up slimes to choose from. Kawaii Cow, Peachy's Rainbow Sherbet, Cherry Soda Float, and we have Pink Sand Beach. For safety, I'm gonna go with Peachy's Rainbow Sherbet. Because it's a cloud dough slime, I think the shape will hold better and it'll be easier to mold, so that'll probably give me a good chance at fooling the shop staff. So since this slime is a cloud dough texture, we're going to need white glue and, um, I'm not really sure. Usually I'm just the cameraman, so I don't actually know how to make a cloud dough texture. Let me ask Aaron. Hey, Aaron, uh, sorry to bother you, but do you know how to make cloud dough texture? Are you serious right now? It's just white glue and fake snow. Right. We get this comment all the time. You work at a slime factory? Like, how do you not know how to make slime? I'm just the cameraman. I don't know how to make slime other than watching Christian do it. It's not easy work making slime. While our glue is being added to the mixer, we're gonna make our fake snow in this bin. So I have this fake snow powder that we're gonna add to the bin. Then we're gonna need water and lotion to make the perfect fake snow to add to our white glue. First our water. Then we need some lotion. I need five cups. Now I'm gonna get my hands dirty because we gotta mix this all together. I'm from New York, so I know what snow feels like. This is more like sand than snow, but it's what the recipe calls for, so. And there we go, guys, our fake snow. Look at that. All right, so the question is, how much snow do we add to the slime? Um, maybe Christian knows? Oh, look, look, here he comes. Hey, Chris, can you help me for a sec? Camp talk, too busy making ticket talks. <sighs> Unbelievable with this guy. We're just gonna send it. For this one, I'm 100% sure Christian uses two cups of activator. I mean, it just like sounds like the right amount. Oh no. Christian's gonna kill me if he finds out I spilled. Two cups of activator are in. Now we just have to let it mix. Now that we have our base, we need to separate it into three piles for the three colors of the slime. One for yellow, one for orange, and one for pink. If there's one thing I know how to do well, it's color match. So we're gonna start with our pink. We're gonna go with neon bright pink to make sure we get our color right. Are you sure you're gonna go with that pink? I'm only gonna add a little bit because I don't wanna make the slime too dark, you know? Ooh, that's what you think a little bit is? <laughs> Pink looks pretty close, so now let's do the orange. I'm gonna go with sunset orange for sure on this one. Definitely not what I would go for. Orange is looking spectacular. Now it's time for yellow. Spectacular is a strong word. For this one, we're gonna use lemon yellow, and I think it's gonna take a bit to dye the slime, so we're just gonna douse it. Eee, I thought you said douse it, not drown it. Will you get out of here? No <laughs> one asked you. With our three colored slimes, it's time to dress up the slime like Andrea's. I've already had Amy give me the same charms as the mock-up. We've got a nice rainbow and a couple multicolored sprinkles that are pastel colored to match the slime. And now we're gonna add our slime to the container. To do this, we're gonna take a little bit of each color of slime, and then we're gonna roll it into a little log. So there's pink, now we'll do orange. Roll it up, and then we need yellow. We're gonna make sort of like a triangle with these three logs. So we're gonna put the orange and pink together, and then layer in the yellow on top. And then all we have to do is roll all three of these up together like this to make them all kind of squish together. Now that we have our log with the three slimes, we're gonna cut off each end to make it flat. All right, we have a nice cylindrical log of slime with three colors. Then we take our container and then we push this into the container so that it fills it up nice. And then we take our scissor again and we cut it right along the top 
edge of the container until we have our three colors split just like that. Thankfully, Haley taught me how to pack these slimes, so it actually looks pretty good. But now we need our ice cream scoop because we got to dress this slime just like Andrea's. What we're going to do is take a little handful of slime and make it into like sort of like an ice cream scoop shape. And then we just place it right on our slime and we have a little dollop. And we're going to do the same thing for each color. And there we go. We have our dressed up slime. We're going to add our sprinkles and try to lightly put them on each dollop of slime here. Maybe press them in a little bit so they stay. I'm trying to match the kind of consistency that the other one has. The other one's kind of spread out. I don't know if Andrea has a method to this or she just literally drizzles it on top, but I'd say that is pretty good. The last bit that we need is our rainbow, which we'll just press right into the top. Honestly, they look pretty similar. I think I did a pretty good job here. It's kind of like a one-to-one -one match. I don't know about you guys, but I think I got this in the bag. Now all that's left is to get the shop staff in here to try to guess which one's Andrea's and which one's mine. All right, David, without squishing the slime, which one did Andrea make and which one did I make? Hmm. Well, this one looks a little more realistic, which I think that Andrea likes, but mm. I don't know. This one's a little shoddy. I don't know about this. What is this made from? A mold? We use little ice cream scoops to dollop some cloud okay. slime on top. Because this one looks like a mold. This one looks like a scoop. Okay. I feel like Andrea would most likely go for the mold. So I'm going to say this one's Andrea and this one's you. Well, you are right. This one is Andrea's and that one is me. So nice work. Thank you. <sighs> oh, for one. <laughs> I mean, they pretty much look the same. Good. Good start. That means I did same, a good job. Same charms, same sprinks. The lines are about the same. Woo. Now what's that? What? This one is all wiggly. This lines is all straight, except for this one has like a giant wiggle. And the scoops aren't as cute. I think you made this one. Scarlet, you are wrong. Really? That one was Andrea's and this wow. one was mine. Wow. This is beautiful, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. I try my best. Everything. The lines are really straight. I love that. There we go, guys. One to one. Andrea, you. Really? Okay, well, now I'm nodding myself. <laughs> That's final guesses. You are wrong. I made this one and Andrea made that one. Oh God. So okay. now the scores are two to me and one to Andrea. They look about the same. That's um, good. That means I did a good job. Ooh, she's, she's a good packer, so she's looking at the packing. Um, this is actually really hard. I think that this one's yours and this one's Andrea's. Well, you are wrong. This one's Andrea's and this one's mine, which means I win with a final score of three to one. Thank you, Haley, so much. Yeah. Now I get free slime and don't have to edit for Andrea. Let's go. Guys, I know I could win the whole time. I mean, I made such a good slime mock-up that the shop staff couldn't even tell which one Andrea made. Now I get one of each restock slime for free and I don't have to edit for her.